Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. 
Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish this! Oh, thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for... Greetings, Your Excellency. So the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! I thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor!
It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. I've put this off for as long as I can. I need to make my farewells to my mother. I'll go and meet up with Kurt in the city afterwards. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort. But to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Hello, sir. My apologies, but I do not have the strength to chat today.
There are some days when you'd rather get drunk all day than have to suffer through this again. Kurt, it's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Greenblood, do you need something? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. And to be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly my type. Anything else? I must leave you.
to my help. And death to the others! Greenblood, do you need something? I must leave you.
I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? I heard the discourse of this priest on the main square. He says that the Malikor is a punishment from the Enlightened. What did we do to deserve such retribution? My husband started coughing yesterday in the evening. I hope it's because of the cold. Hello, Your Excellency. It is an honor. The Malachor is slowly killing our city. More and more businesses are closing. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tirfordi on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time, far too much time. 
For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tear for D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. How is Teleme faring on Tirfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult, disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah. You must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Have a nice day, sire. The price of fabric is very attractive. 
This should help us in our trade with Elsa. I must hurry. I am due home. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene. 
and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Uh... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the Congregation and the Bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the Congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier for D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver. Whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. 
Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. It's blocked. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Visit. See you soon.
Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen... Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come on! Citizens of Serene, come to me! You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. Citizens, I present to you... Panacea! The absolute cure of everything! Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little vial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? I will think about it. As you wish. But don't wait long. It won't last forever.
Get... Uh -oh. 